you are looking for a solution to get rid of the blurness for this specific security camera, Florian, and that's your model number. You search for it and then you came to this video. And the middle one is actually this camera and do you see the difference between the others and this one? The first thing we're gonna do is remove this front uh, glass uh, lid. This is not a lens, it's just glass lid. And these uh, threads right here um, makes you believe that this is uh, adjustable, but it's not. Don't force this one. This is just a decoration. You'll definitely need uh, this kind of tool set, but I mean, not the whole thing. It's just a tweezer like this, Phillips head, um, screwdriver, and a plier just, just to uh, remove this bolt uh, from the back side. When you look at your camera, you'll see that there are two screws. One is right there, and the other one is right here. And now let's unscrew those. You will be seeing this infrared uh, circular uh, circuit board. Uh, and now there are two screws here. One is this one right here and the other one right there. So we're gonna remove those. Let's unscrew. Now, when you unscrew that one, this comes out like that. By the way, when you do this, uh, you know that uh, it's not gonna be a uh, plug to power cable, so uh, that is important. Now, uh, since we removed that one, uh, we still uh, need to uh, kind of lose that area so we can comfortably uh, play with this. Uh, otherwise, there is not much distance. But if you can do with this much uh, cable, if you are comfortable, you can actually do it this way too without doing anything for the back side. Okay, now uh, to, to make it easier, actually, I'm going to lose it. All you need just with a plier, lose the bolt and then unscrew it. It should be coming out like that. And now you can actually push this cable forward. Okay. I think that's that's good enough. Okay, let's put the screws one side. And when you flip this over, you're gonna be seeing uh, th three screws right here. One, two, and three. And we need to remove those to take this rectangular circuit board out from main uh, component. Now when we take those screws out, as you see, we separated circular circuit from the rectangular circuit which the rectangular circuit connected to the lens component. And we still need to remove this, uh, um, the lens component. Two screws right there. One is right here and the other one is right here. So we're gonna unscrew those. You can adjust this at this point. You can, you know, like plug the cable I know that it's the circuits are open and uh, but you can at this point if if you're really careful you can hold it from probably like these ends just like that you can hold it this way um, and plug it in and then you can direct this lens to somewhere that you know you can get a reference like and then you can 
turn it left or right and you can try to clear it as much as possible so the and but in order to make that adjustment you have to uh, lose the screw so you cannot turn it this way if it is tight so you have to unscrew a little bit and then at this point you can actually make left and right turns do you see it turns and uh, then you can adjust it but in this case i'm going to show you like the, the pretty much the full cleaning along with uh, uh, the, the lens adjustment now let's just uh, okay we unscrew this and then let's take the lens out a lens has uh, two sides this end also has a uh, uh, additional lens on this side and that's the front lens so at this point uh, we can get a microfiber cloth get the dust out it's pretty good and the front you can always do it at the end but the lens is now clear there is nothing else you can do for this lens it's just one piece Now, if you look at this one, there you, you'll see a kind of red reflection um, screen. That screen is actually infrared filter. Uh, we're going to clean that one too. Now with your hand, again, with a microfiber, nothing else. And you cleaned it. And that is uh, good for this side. And just in case we are going to also remove that component as well okay we add the unscrew and here is that component now we already cleaned this side and that's the back side and gently let's just wipe that one too this is actually a sensor uh it's there i mean touching that one it's definitely not acceptable so with your hand or any other object other than this microfiber uh, even microfiber is not a good idea but since this lens is uh this uh, camera is already uh, blurry and you're gonna replace it if you don't fix it so you shouldn't mind to kind of do whatever you can do uh, if uh, the previous things just adjusting the lens is fixing it you don't have to you know the unscrew all these components and do this cleaning but if adjustment of uh, lens uh, doesn't fix it then you have to open this area and wipe this uh, CMOS sen uh, sensor as well. That's what I'm going to do. I don't care, honestly. Okay, I gently uh, wiped it with a microfiber cloth. And pretty much that's it. And then make sure when you put this component, don't touch that uh, sensor. And we put the uh, uh, infrared screen component back. I'm just going to wipe it again one more time. So that's good. Now after this step, uh, I can put the lens back. And we already cleaned the lens. And then screw it back. And for this specific camera, I noticed that uh, when you screw this lens, it's kind of firm until some uh, loose spot in the middle. When you come to that loose spot, I think I hear it is, this is where you, this is where uh, the focus area is. So at that loose area, you're going to play a little left, right to make it as 
as good as possible. Now I am uh, at this point I'm going to plug my power cable. You you'll hear a click sound. That's normal. Now I'm looking at uh, a monitor and it's still blurry. So I'm gonna turn it left and right. Now we are going to, uh, I'm going to unplug it. And now I can put the lens stabilizer screw. Now we screw the lens, so it's stabilized now. The screen, uh, the night vision sensor uh, should be on the bottom. See that the sensor is here, and I know that that's top. And I am going to do it that way. So that's the top side, and that's the sensor. is put this uh, styrofoam protection thing where it was it was right here I think this is uh, protecting lens from the infrared LEDs it's this way and then the next thing that we're going to do is pull this cable back all the way yeah, the until this colors are kind of showing up and then make sure that those are stays inside and then screw this. But now I know that this green sensor is going to come down and there is only two different positions you can put it anyway because of this plug right there. This doesn't allow you to put this side. So you cannot possibly put this way. It has to be either this way uh, or this the green sensor up way. But I know that the green is uh, down. That's how I actually un I, I unscrewed it. I don't know if yours is on the up, then do it up. Okay, it's pretty good. Let's wipe it one more time. Okay, that's good. So the last thing is putting the lid back to where it was. Yep, that's it. Uh, actually, you need to kind of push it a little harder down. External camera, make sure that you tied these screws really good so that it would seal actually that that if you don't do it so that's gonna be a reason in the future again it's gonna get dusty and blurry so now we did that it's pretty good it's all in one piece now uh, let's plug it in now let's test it 